Hello, it's Zamp from the Teenage Hackers again. Um, I'm going to just do a quick overview of Backtrack Linux, what it is, and what you can do with it. Um, I'm warning you, my Backtrack install is not the default, so it, yours originally will look very different. But uh, here goes nothing. So, I have Backtrack in a VM here, and I have Conky and Docky configured. And probably need to change the background, but uh, there's that. This is not how yours will look. I also have a GTK theme, but uh, that's because I like to customize my stuff and set it instead of uh, having the plain old boring. Not to say it was boring, but more to say that it was uh, not my style. <laughs> um. So yeah, here is. Backtrack, and what Backtrack Linux is, is a penetration testing distribution of Linux based on Ubuntu. I'm running the Linux kernel 2.6.38, uh, I'm on 32-bit system, but there's also 64-bit distributions. This is a persistent install, however, Backtrack Linux also works as a fully functional live CD that can be mounted in memory, so you can run it on anything that can boot from a USB flash drive or CD. Um, when when you first install and configure it, uh, you're going to have not exactly this, but it's going to have the pad on. Oh, it's going to be a different style. It's not going to have Conky or Docky. Um, if you want, I'll release documentation on how to configure all this, but that's only if you guys want it. Um, but uh, you have three basic things up here. You have the application menu, the places, and the system. Uh, this is normal stuff. It's I'm running GNOME, but there's also a KDE and I believe Fluxbox versions. Um, system, you have preferences. So you can have all the configuration preferences. Uh, administration, there's only, only system. Monitor. Um, places is the normal places stuff. And then we have applications. Here's where it gets unique. Backtrack Linux, being a penetration testing distro, has a plethora of pre-configured applications. Uh, they're under accessories, that's what you install. But uh, under Backtrack, you have this massive menu containing categories upon categories of tools. So we have accessory. Let's go to Backtrack. We have information gathering. Now, do we want network analysis, web application analysis, database analysis, or wire wireless analysis? Open those. We have even further subcategories, and they're full of tools. I mean, absolutely full of tools. So now it's Bluetooth and all that stuff. Vulnerability assessment that we're at. Nessus. I mean, it's mind boggling how many tools there are in here. Um, and you may see duplicates, like I went to database and then MySQL, you have SQL map, and same here. Um, that's because some uh, these are scripts as well that pass additional arguments to the said programs. Um, privacy, we have all of this stuff. And it, there's a lot of cool stuff in here. Uh, the miscellaneous stuff. Fuzzers, all of that stuff. Um, we also have Wine installed, which comes with, um, if I believe it was reverse engineering, install uh, the IDA Pro free version, which is a Windows disassembler, and we have Wine for that. Um, but yeah, this is going to be a short video anyway. But uh, that's Backtrack 5. You can get it from backtracktechlinux.com, or if I open up Firefox here, this will be the default home. Wow. That absolutely died on me. I wonder what happened. <laughs> that was weird. I'll fix that later. But, uh, yeah. It's a bioffensive security backtrack file, which is backtracklinux.org. And it has a bunch of stuff installed. So this is where you can get it, backtracktechlinux.org. And uh, thanks for watching, and I'll figure out when my GTK theme died. So, uh, yeah, have a, a good one. Sorry it's only a five-minute video, but uh, yeah.